Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 what up, what up, world? You're not locked in with the fella, fella, hybrid of the game. We lift and race and we doing calisthenics because we the full package in these streets. Now, today I got a back and bicep workout for you. We're only using dumbbells. Let's get money, baby. The deadlift is a primary exercise and a staple in my workout. What makes the deadlift so important is that it increases your core strength, your core stability, and it improves your posture. A lot of people go wrong performing this move when they tend to sacrifice their um, the heavy weight for their form. You don't want to do that. Uh, so right now, I'm just giving you 15 reps. I'm just turning from side to side just so you can peep my form. The form is everything. As I said, deadlifts are responsible for good posture. So as long as your form is on point, um, all else shall f fall in place. For those of you who don't know, yes, I am a professional bodybuilder, so we're not just out here doing shit just because. I do like to incorporate posing routines in between my sets because when I'm on stage, they help me hold my poses a little bit longer. It helps my breathing. And when off stage, it just keeps me accountable to posing. It keeps me accountable to my rest time, you know? So it's fun. Incorporate it. If that's something that you wish to do. And so now we're getting right into uh, some one arm rows. Again, I'm giving you five reps, then I'm turning. We're keeping it at 15 reps. I want you to see the good form. I want you to see the angles. I want you to see the definitions and striations. You too can have definitions and striations like mine, but it all boils down to consistency. And there you have it. Four sets, 15 reps, supersetting dumbbell deadlifts, and one-arm rows. After your four sets, 15 reps are complete. Then we move along to the next, uh, the next few exercises. But this exor these two exercises were to just mainly introduce people who are not into lifting weights into lifting weights. So I just wanted to focus on having good form, and giving some good, clean ass reps. Posing is an intense and interesting art form, especially when done correctly. I've been competing since 2010, doing three to four shows a year. And let me tell you, Posing does not get any easier, especially if you've taken some time off. So you can only imagine incorporating this into your uh, into your workout programs just for the hell of it makes the workout a tad bit more difficult, but it does force you to keep your breathing on point. Now for the next workout, we have dumbbell bent over rows. As you can see, I'm using a supinated grip and I'm still serving angles. I'm sitting on my hips, my back is flat like a tabletop, and I'm contracting my muscles at the top. Look at that, beautiful squeeze. Look at the striations, the definition. No flex and everything is still popping. It's all about the angles. It's all about the range of motion. Looking good, Maddie Matt, looking good. Moving on. And we got some posing for ya. You know, show a little, little something, little routine here. It's the smooth transitions for me. I don't care about nothing else. It's one thing into the next. That's how I'm doing it on stage when it's time to perform. <laughs> the workout is drawing near when it's time to target the smaller muscle groups. Now, the bicep has two heads and the bicep hammer curl, which I am performing, Perfor uh, targets the long head of the bicep. So again, I'm serving angles. Five reps, a turn, 
just so you can peep the form, you can see the definition, you can enjoy the striations, and you can envision yourself having the same. You get into the money, baby. You get into the money. Now that we've already targeted the long head of the bicep, we're going to target the short head of the bicep with a dumbbell bicep curl. Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. Stay focused. Five reps. Give you another five reps. We are leaving no stone unturned. We have targeted the long head of the bicep. We have targeted the short head of the bicep. And at the end of the day, it's about being uh, strong in both arms. It's about being uh, symmetrical and proportionate because when you're on stage, in order to differentiate you from your competitor, judges are looking for what one guy has that the other may not, or what one female has that the other may not, you know? And we carry that out into the real world. Now, I usually do two uh, movements per muscle group, but I figure why not throw the cherry on top for you guys, give you one extra. These are called the uh, Zotman curls. Now the Zotman curls target both your long head and short head of your biceps. Best of both worlds. Definitely worth incorporating into your arsenal. Hits the forearms as well. I appreciate you locking in with the fella fella and staying to the end of this video. I hope that I've been able to deliver valuable information that you could take with you on your fitness journey when it comes to lifting weights with dumbbells. Let's get this money, baby. We out. Turn on your post notifications. <laughs>